Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new campaign series here today as Turkey. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. We're going to be starting in the 2000 date, and the main objective of this series is to rebuild the Ottoman Empire as best we can. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of neighboring countries we can look to take over, and we're sort of right near as well the upcoming and future modern conflicts in and around the uh, Middle East as we load on in. All right, so Turkey, 2000, our economy is kind of shocking. <laughs> we're currently in a coalition government, pro-Western. I think we'll switch to nationalism and we'll bring in the uh, TAF, the Turkish Armed Forces. That's what I think I want to do. So we currently have a decent amount of divisions. A lot of tanks though, wow. We've actually got quite a large army, considering how early this is in 2000, like comparing to Australia. Jeez. So we've got Greece next to us now. I would like to bring that under our control. Obviously, Iraq, Syria, Egypt, Jordan was a part of the Ottoman Empire at some point. So we'll try and bring them in to our control. But we are using as well, of course, the Turkey sub mod, which is compatible to Millennium Dawn at the moment. But check this out. <laughs> this is crazy how big this focus tree is. Oh my god, we've got the uh, Rona stuff there. 2023 missions. Hilarious. So we can go a bunch of ways here. We can bring in Erdogan. And we also can flip back and forth as well. Because we are going to struggle to build the Ottoman Empire if we do stay in NATO. And don't go with um, essentially global interventionism and neo-imperialism. So we might have to go back and forth to this Turkey tech tree. But I'll try to go after Greece. It just depends if they stay in NATO, whatever happens. I am using alternative focuses, so hopefully we have a wacky and wild Boy 4 campaign. Dude, there's so much stuff here in this tech tree, which we're not going to be able to get all to, but we're going to be able to do a decent chunk of it as well. Definitely want to uh, go into the Balkans as well and bring it back under... Turkic Ottoman control. I could go with the House of Ottoman, but I think we'll use we'll bring in the Turkish armed forces. That's what I'm thinking. So religion Sunni. Our economy's stagnated. We need to change that. Oh my God, systemic corruption. We definitely need to reduce that. That's quite high compared to the Australia and American series, and to be fair, the uh, Germany series. So we've got a couple of factions here, the military, the industry, and the religious sect as well. We've got extensive policing. I would like to upgrade the welfare and healthcare. Uh, we're currently mixed economy as well. Mandatory service, which is interesting, that's good. Volunteer for women. We're currently in regional interventionalism. We'll try and get that to global. And there's a bunch of Turkish defense companies as well. My God, look at all the decisions. We've got the Grand Assembly of Turkey where we can pass through war emergency bills. Oh my god, we've got the guards here as well. Turkish politics. Oh my god, this is crazy. The mafias? <laughs> I never really thought of the Turkish mafia before. I guess that's a thing. <laughs> Obviously the infamous Italian one, but yeah. Yeah, I guess Turkey has their own mafias as well. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, I've got a bu bunch of other event and decisions we want to try and get into the EU. We can leave NATO in whenever we want, which we might have to. I don't know. We'll see how we go. And we can recognize some other stuff if we want to. we got some CT operations that we can initiate. It's probably not a bad idea. And we've got some Kurdish stuff. Dilemmas that we're going to have to deal with as well. The Turkey Central Bank. Oh, right, because we can connect it to the EU if we want to. I imagine it's like decentralized the uh, 
the Turkish Lira to uh, the EU. Okay. And we've got some missions in North Cyprus as well. Yeah, because we probably want to try and unify the country with our direct involvement. We might do a similar sort of thing in um, the Armenian Azerbaijani region. We'll try and sort of imprint ourselves over there. But, yeah, the main objective, just trying to take as much former Turkish territory as we can. Let's make Turkey great again. Let's bring back Ottoman dominance to the region. Alright, so we've got the HK here. We can try and get... Oh my god, that 2025 rifle looks sick. So, I would like to research that, but... Oh my god, some of our equipment is stuck in the bloody 60s and 70s. Jeez. We're gonna need to really gain military and civilian factories if we're going to sort of rebuild our economy. My god. We might be better off just to conquer them. Because <laughs> we are in a pretty bad recession. Economically in the 2000s, Turkey's a little bit shocking. 400 days as well. Oh, it looks like they've extended the um, the time for this in this submod. Never played the uh, Turkish submod before. But it's going to be a lot of fun. I didn't realize by days. Yeah, so maybe we're better to go down genetic engineering. As much as I'd like that rifle. It's going to take 200 days. We have 11 military factories. So, we'll just try and get one of everything to start things off. But at the moment, our equipment and logistics is kind of shit. Going to need to focus on an air force as well. While we get everything else in. We've got a bunch of divisions, so we don't actually need to recruit that many. It's all about maintaining what we have. Okay, we've got six dockyards here as well. As long as we maintain a medium-sized navy in and around the Aegean and the Black Sea, we should be the dominant power. We will hold the Strait of Istanbul as well. I wonder if we can turn that off. Like, passage through it and try and stop... Greek or Ruski or NATO forces going in between. Like, that might be a good idea. But, for this series... Yeah, so I kind of just want to rebuild the Ottoman Empire. And we'll try and... make Turkey fiercely independent. Look, if we have to go away from the West to build the Ottoman Empire, so be it. Leave NATO. And Western Outlook. But I also don't want to be... Controlled. And overly influenced by the Kremlin either. So. Fierce Turkish independence, I think. But here are some of the units that are quite cool. And we're currently spread throughout Turkey defending. Alright, let's have a look at our... Navy. So, let's move them to Istanbul. So, 40 ships. That's quite large. So, I'd love to try and claim some of these small Aegean islands as well. The more islands we can get, the more natural gas resources and hydrocarbon resources we can get. Like, I wish we just could start building... <laughs> Islands in the Aegean to start spraying down those sand fucking islands with those huge fucking hoses they do in the Spratlys. That's what we want to be doing in this series. But look, I'll try to go after Greece, but we'll see how we go. It is going to be quite difficult to go after them. And maybe some of the factions that are really tied to NATO, like you never know. Romania. Uh, maybe even Bosnia might actually join NATO or something. Or Bulgaria even. So, there might be a couple of countries that are going to just be alliance tied that we can't attack, unfortunately. Or otherwise, bringing in war with the states, which we don't want. 
Alright, so I think we need a bunch of civilian factories. That's one to focus on. We'll eventually build fuel silos. We'll get our office sec sectors up to get us money. And then we'll eventually get some military. But the French are going to give us access to their satellites. Fantastic. Alright, so we currently are making one billion. Nice. We've got a... Not a crazy debt. Could be better. Oh god. Our resources are kind of shocking. We've got the USS Cole incident. Got to keep an eye on that. I will be supporting the states as much as we can. Oh, we can buy and sell Bitcoin. <laughs> sure. Let's uh, do that. That'll be quite funny. <laughs> I guess that like becomes a thing in like uh, 2008 when it launches. Welcome to the mod. So here is some additional information. Ra da ra da ra. Yeah, so we need to rush stuff. So right, let's go. The two thousands will be our year. Yeah, so we will be wanting to support the states to level up our units where we can. France wants to invest in Turkey. Nice. And the legacy of the Turkish Republic is about to be complete soon as well. So there's a couple ways you can sort of go with this Turkey. Western, non-aligned, emerging. They all seem to have decent chunks. Hell, even the nationalism stuff as well. Okay, so we probably can get some officer corps in. We'll try and get into a war here today, but we'll see how we go. But we're going to try and spread our influence down into Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Kurdistan. We'll try and intervene and maybe join some proxy wars where we can. Bill Clinton wants to give us access to more satellites. Sure. Okay. So unfortunately our infrastructure got attacked. We'll try and find the culprits. So here are some of the national spirits. Yeah, so it is vital to get access to those satellites because they can give you some valuable line of sight and intelligence once you engage other factions. So we could release some territory to Syria or the Kurds if we wanted to, but we're not going to. I was just curious to see if there was any Turkish states we could give back or something. Alright, so, fair few wars going on here, well tension is growing, and hopefully we'll be able to send some of our Turkish special forces to gain some valuable experience. So currently the DSP is currently in charge. I'm not incredibly well versed in uh, Turkish politics, but I think like Erd Erdogan is, um, mo I think a lot of them are independent. Alright, let's quickly change the civilian factory, and we'll bring in some officers as well. But yeah, let me know, Turkish followers and subscribers. I'm not well versed in just like uh, overseas politics that much. But yeah, I think a lot of like Turkish. Uh, I think they changed the title as well, didn't they? You've had a prime minister now, your president. I'm not really sure. Oh god. But yeah, I think Erdogan was like independent for a bit. Same was the so was his predecessor. Then they joined parties and stuff. But it's not going to overly too matter matter too much because we're probably going to be bringing in the armed forces if we want to conquer neighboring countries effectively. All right, that's been complete. So we're going to continue to. Move down just to change the constitution, which will gain us some stability. But it's quite low at the moment. 29 factories in total. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a buffer here to spend on getting an, uh, a civilian infrastructure buff. So it is worth doing that, but it does cost a little bit to your GDP. We've still got a stagnated economy, which we will need to change. 
But we're currently, unfortunately, dealing with a lot of internal strife here. I suppose we'll let him rebuild, because gaining that stability is probably not a bad idea. But just look at all the crazy modifiers. Um, yeah, we've got the PKK we have to deal with as well. So we'll try and uproot them and stabilize our region. Which is going to be easier said than done. Alright, so we can get a new Turkish president if we want. Anything else we can do here? Missions in northern Cyprus. So we can move to intervene. Because I think it's independent or it's like a proxy or it's like mostly backed by the Turks at the moment. So maybe getting it directly under our control is probably not a bad idea. So Cyprus is down here. So there's a British military base to the south. So we have to look at so... Yeah, we can actually overthrow the northern Cypriot government and get that directly under our control. Like, sure, why not? Because then we can use that as a staging area. We don't need it as a puppet. Yeah, well, let's uh, do that. So let's uh, move the tank divisions and we'll try and absorb it into the Turkish Republic, I suppose. So let's declare war upon them then. I just hope no one comes in. I wouldn't imagine that anyone would come on the north side. I imagine the south is going to be difficult. So let's just do a small, quick naval invasion to bring it directly under our control. We're going to stage a coup d'etat. Okay. <laughs> now, I imagine saying they're a one-tile country. They probably haven't got much of an armed forces. We'll bring in the huge 40-strong Turkish Navy. We're going to fly and fang down here with fucking submarines and destroyers and carriers. And then the naval invasion be quite swift dude we are hemorrhaging political power oh my god so it's interesting that they've changed the time scale compared to vanilla millennium dawn so this series might actually go a little bit longer years wise it takes like two three hundred days to like get anything done crazy all right the tanks are rolling on in and they capitulated <laughs> so so quickly so We'll take the states, and we'll fully bring the territory of northern Cyprus, Famagusta, uh, under our control. We'll bring in maybe martial law eventually if we need to. But now this is uh, NATO territory. Yeah, so they're not guaranteeing their independence. We might need to unite the island. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so the US... Cancelled their lend lease for our short little war. And we've managed to bring up the world tension slightly as well. We want things to go wild and wacky and crazy. We're focusing on our industry and civilian stuff as well. We're still hemorrhaging political power. Right, new Turkish president. Nice, if we want that. We've also completed DNA fingerprinting. So nothing changed there. Alright, so. We can increase salaries. Because there's one piece of tech that we have to rush down here. Otherwise, potentially, the game could break. We do have to be a little bit careful of that. But so far, this mod seems relatively stable. And you can play it, well, up until sort of the real life timelines 2020. Which is kind of cool. Okay, so... Uh, Let's... Oh, 2,000 manpower. Yeah, so let's enact that slight little bit of prison reform. And you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to increase our fuel efficiency and capacity. 
Still slowly but surely chipping away at some of these national focuses now. So we can actually forgive some of the guilty there as well. We'll give us more stability, which is desperately needed. And might even gain more support for the DSP. Which in all honesty, we probably want to try and reduce. And bring in... I think the army. I think the army's fine. That was quite fun in the Australian series, bringing in the... Um, the ADF, rather than some whack other nationalist faction. Okay, so... Oh god, we don't want to go to war with the Turkish Mafia. So maybe we try and extend some of this amnesty. So let's do that. Because we're trying to stabilize the country, we don't want to fracture it. And it looks like more Turkish liberals have won support. So it looks like the DSP and their coalition is going to grow even more. Yeah, so the MPH is currently 23%, which is quite high. We could bring them in, maybe. We'll see how we go. Mm, actually, I could use the political power. Because we are going to want to flip anyway, so maybe not strengthen the DSP as the play. They're already strong enough. 24% now. Nationalist outlook. Not aligned. Yeah, because I think that's the best play. To bring in the uh, NU uh, C committee. Because that's the army, essentially. Bring it under control. Because we can always switch back if we want. If we have to leave NATO anyway. Once we form the Ottoman Empire. Okay, so we've got the 2001 Turkic, Turkish economic crash. Yeah, so it's going to take a little while to um, get the Turkish economy back on track. Because it's kind of shocking at the moment. Okay, so if we go with this, this should actually bring in the Turkish Armed Forces. That's what I think I want to do. And we might even go with a Nationalist Propaganda campaign as well. Because now that we have a little bit better political power, we're still negative, but it's going to cost GDP. So we're going to have to do it earlier than later. Uh, infrastructure wise let's go with civic as well let's spend that we do have plenty of money so we can uh, withstand some of this stuff the Damascus spring has just happened so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that we can do some crackdowns if we want but that's fine we might send some training missions overseas eventually as well and try and secure our territory having some raids. So we can subsidize Western culture if we want. Just trying to read exactly what we want to do. Yeah, I think we're in a position now to slowly start working towards bringing in the um, the TAF. I think that's what we want to do. Uh, Turkish consumer spending. Yeah, let's try and transfer some of the money. Because we want the economy to keep booming. Nice. We've got some experience here that we can spend. We want to be getting uh, really efficient doctrines as well. Dude, our stability is shocking. Our manpower is not the best. So it's going to take a little while before we're a powerhouse here in uh, Asia Minor, I suppose. Dude, we've had a depression as well. We've gone well down stagnation. Jeez. That's because of the crisis. Dude, they're actually like really role-playing the internal politics in this. Holy shit. It's uh, kind of hilarious. Alright, we'll try and increase some of the salaries. I don't know where and how. We definitely don't have the money for it. What's this? 
A shell of Soviet past. A ship destined for China. So they basically want us to let it move through the, uh, the Bosphorus. The Chinese will pay us off 50 million if we let it go through. <laughs> There's a risk that the Hulk can capsize and completely block the strait. Oh, shit. Well, that means the flow of trade won't be able to go through. So, I suppose we, um... Let it go through? Yeah, if China's going to pay us, like, sure, why not? Because at the moment, our economic woes are terrible. Beijing, we've allowed the ship to pass, and it looks like they're going to send that $50 million of credit into our... Um... Swift bank account, I suppose. And looks like the EU signed a, uh, a deal with Turkey. So we've got a little bit of unrest in the north of the province, unfortunately. So we're going to have to crack down on it slightly. Oh, there's the ship as well. Nice. Looks kind of cool. They shut down a political party, alright. Yeah, so... The army faction seems to be growing quite a bit, which is good. It's good to see. Okay, so... Economic withdrawal will go with. And we also can increase the effectiveness of the Navy, bringing in another doctrine as well. But we're still currently in a economic depression, unfortunately. Alright, some more political parties have been brought in. George Bush is now currently the President of the States. It's now August 2001. Our economy is shocking. But uh, hopefully we can uh, get it back in the future a little bit. Jeez. Heaps of officer corps here. Nice. So entering 2001 is being complete. Let's go down with this, and then we'll go down to the 2001 economic crisis. Jeez, it can't get much worse than this. We'll move out of our economic depression to now a recession. We've still got a bunch of debt that we can pay off, which would really help. We've halved our national debt, which was 500 billion. And we've slightly reduced the corruption as well. If we could do it a bit more, that'd be great. Okay, so... It's asking if we should stand with America. I think we will. Oh, but we could... Go with that. Hmm... Do we want to rattle the nest? No, I think we stand with them. Because they might fabricate something <laughs> to invade us. You never know. And we'll try and get this to stagnation at least. Okay, we can bring back the economy slightly. Jeez, it's January now, 2002. And we're going with the 2001 economic crisis, which will increase our production and construction speed. Hey, so the US has requested our help. So, it looks like the first initial phases of enduring fe uh, freedom is about to kick off. And unfortunately, we've had a 2000... And two, Turkish earthquake. So, we want to send an intervention force to the north. So let's try and find some Turkish SF, Turkish special, special forces. What have we got here? Alright, let's bring them in. Because I think we're better off sending an infantry unit rather than any mechanized or anything that's really going to rely on fuel up in the north. 
All right, let's send them north and we'll try and get them to help. Add in uh, Afghanistan. They're going to arrive soon. That's been complete as well. And we have a decision to make where we want to go down. So, if you go down this, bring in the AKP. So, this will extend the um, Erdogan line and his successor. But I don't know how, if we go down this tech tree, are we going to be able to rebuild the Ottoman Empire? We might need to go down the military plot. I think. And then I think maybe, I think the plan is what we'll do is we'll, we'll go nationalist, we'll try and take out as many of the former Ottoman Empire territories as we can, and we'll try and bring it under our control, but unfortunately some of them might join CSTO, some of them might form their own factions, some of them might be firmly stuck in NATO, but we'll just have to see how we go but thank you very much for watching the first episode of the hearts of iron 4 millennium dawn modern day mod turkey series here today bit of a slow episode slowly but surely build things up sometimes episode one can be that but i am surprised how sort of realistic and tough this first episode was look i thought we might be able to have a, a battle or an invasion here and there we had a small little bit of conflict in uh uh, Cyprus in the north bring it under our control but no we've got really bad economic issues which we need to push on past which is hilariously realistic so we'll try and rebuild the Turkish economy man they are really hammering some I think it's the worst I've ever had my economy like even in the states and the um, Australian and Germany campaign I never went into an economic depression or recession this crazily this early on so stay tuned for episode two coming out the exact same time tomorrow where we should be able to help our american brethren we've hit the 2000 date so things are going to start kicking off well our american nato allies are brethren and yeah, doesn't really sound right our NATO allies. That sounds uh, a bit better. But let me know feedback and suggestions. Um, yeah, let me know which one I should go down. I think I should go nationalist. I think that's the best. Because I, I can't see how being in NATO and being Western Outlook, we're going to be able to take all this territory that I desire. But yeah, let me know tips and tricks, of course. Especially people that have played this Turkish sub-mod. It's kind of crazy. Now, um... How good it is. But uh, yeah, we're slowly but surely rebuilding and building up Turkey to make it great again and form the Ottoman Empire. Anyway, enough rambling on. Thanks for watching. Like and sub if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye.